Hello! In case you do not know me, I'm Professor Robert, and I have a school for gifted young people. Not everyone knows this, but it's quite expensive to keep a place like this. I have to pay for all the protein powder, gym equipment, tights, and extrajudicial agreements a school for gifted youth needs. But you can help us. Yes, we have a Patreon now. It's as if you were our own Professor R. And not just that. Everyone who contributes to our Patreon will receive for free an online version of our Black Badness comic book, 24 pages of pure testosterone, sweat, and muscles. Just click on the link in the description below, right? Okay, now the video can begin! Hello. You already know me. I'm the guy inside a bunker alone in an apocalyptic future where the world ended, who just happens to enjoy remembering some stories from the time you were all alive. Cool, huh? Today, I remember two different stories from that time. Now, some people would say that I have a selective memory, and that I'm only remembering these two stories because they're not good enough alone, so I wanted to put them together to trick you. But that's not true. These two stories are very good. Probably the two best stories of the Society of Virtue that I've ever remembered in my entire life. Yeah, that sure is true. Of course it is. Amen! I want to introduce you to our new reinforcement! Wow! That's a lot of people, Professor. What? Oh no, Bear! We're only bringing on... Blast! Okay, and who are these five other mutants? Excuse me, but we are not mutants. And why do you dress like that? Um, because we're not in the 90s anymore? A doy. Ouch! Amen! These are Riley, Blast's personal stylist. Roy, Blast's makeup artist. Mishael, which is Michael spelled with a Y, who takes care of Blast's hair. Rashida, who takes care of Blast's hair. And Ronigan, who also takes care of Blast's hair. Hmm. And what would be your superpower? Blast. I can invoke extremely powerful lightning, as long as we're outside, preferably in a rainforest, where there are loaded clouds nearby. Otherwise, it can take 30 to 50 minutes, depending on the wind. Well, we're going on a mission right now. Is there anything you can do without having to see the weather forecast beforehand? Well, I can roll my eyes and make papers raise up in the air around me with a little electric charge. No, no, no! What did you do? Congratulations, you just destroyed her hair. Now we'll need another hour. One hour in hairdresser years is more like two and a half hours. Pretty cool, huh? You may have noticed some politically incorrect things, but it was a simpler time. The world was not so boring in 2019. Imagine what it was like in 2025, when we couldn't even show bald people in comedy videos. Yeah, in 2025, 98% of all variations of human beings, sexualities, and ethnicities were banned from any work of fiction because they were potentially offensive. Except fat people. In 2024, the world took a step back and agreed that it was okay to trash the fatties. Okay guys, I called y'all here today cause obviously we all have something against Tarantula Man. Sorry, I'm the scorpion. So it's a bit obvious why I would make him my enemy. But am I the only one who thinks it's weird that we have a man made of sand, a magician, and six guys dressed as goblins? What do they have to do with a tarantula? I'm a little confused. Okay, I didn't want to tell you guys, but I actually have a personal unresolved matter with Tarantula Man. His name is actually John Johnson. I'm his best friend. Sorry if I'm not surprised. I already knew he was John Johnson because I'm actually his quantum physics teacher. Hang on, I'm his math teacher. Oh no, how many people here are also professors at John Johnson's college? How many of you all are his friends who feel betrayed by him? 
ex-girlfriends. Oh, that is not good. Guys, John Johnson has three living relatives. Who here is a relative of his? Is it just me, or does everyone in his life eventually become a supervillain who wants to get revenge on him? I've got nothing against him. I came to his birthday party. And now? Now? I think I have to kill him, right? You can't deny that there must be something very wrong with him. There isn't a single person who's gotten to know him and has not ended up a villain. He's really a toxic guy. And it's kind of, well, it's, it's gonna be weird being the only one on these meetings that is not a goblin. You'll have to choose something else. We ran out of adjectives for goblins. After the angry goblin, the annoyed goblin, the irritated goblin, and the red irritated goblin, we agreed we had reached the limit. Wow. Each video is even better than the last, right? I told you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed cruising through my memories. It's getting harder and harder to remember anything. In order to remember these two stories, I had to forget to take my blood pressure meds and to go to the bathroom. I hope it was worth it for you because I've already regretted it. See you next time. New videos every Friday here on our channel. And do not forget to subscribe.